in the 1970s, during the Cold War, a group of visionary scientists and artists led by Carl Sagan created the Voyager Golden Records. These two metallic phonograph records filled with songs, images, and messages from Earth were sent aboard the Voyager 1 and 2 spacecrafts intended for any extraterrestrial life that may find them. They were humanity's message in a bottle cast into the vast ocean of the cosmos. The Voyager spacecrafts embarked on an extraordinary journey, traveling beyond our solar system and sending back invaluable data about the outer planets and interstellar space. Remember the so-called Fermi paradox, which poses the famous question, where is everybody? <laughs> <laughs> Look, there are hundreds of billions of stars in our galaxy and trillions of galaxies in the observable universe. So why have no other civilizations contacted us? The Voyager mission reminds us of the immense distances and profound silence of the cosmos highlighting one of the presumed answers to the Fermi paradox, the vastness of space itself. The Voyager golden records capture the essence of human civilization. Greetings in 55 languages, songs from nature, and music from Bach to Chuck Berry and analog encoded images of life on Earth. These records express our desire to reach out and connect with any intelligence that might be out there. Those of you old enough to remember the Voyager mission may also recall a joke from Saturday Night Live in 1977 that aliens had received a message and replied, send more Chuck Berry. <laughs> <laughs> now, nearly 50 years later, we still haven't heard from other civilizations. Voyagers 1 and 2 drift on into interstellar space, still communicating back to us. In 40,000 years, they will each pass within 1.6 and 1.7 light years of another star, carrying our message into the unknown. Today, we face challenges that threaten our very existence. War, climate change, pandemics, artificial intelligence, and deep-seated biases. These challenges compel us to reflect deeply. Who are we? Who do we want to be? Maybe a global project to update the golden record can help us see ourselves more clearly. It's time to update that message, to reflect on who we are, and who we aspire to be. This is our new project, Humanity's Message to the Stars. This name builds upon our first published paper in the Journal of Earth and Space Science, which was titled, Message in a Bottle, an Update to the Golden Records. Now extending to the legacy of Golden Records, our project had three objectives. First, it is a message to any extraterrestrial beings who might find it. Could they possess the wisdom and technology to hear us? And how 
might they reply to us? Second, we want to leave a copy of this message in the library, buried underground to be discovered a thousand years from now. Imagine our distant descendants uncovering this artifact. What do we want to tell them about who we were and what we dreamed of? Finally, we want to use this message to inspire people around the world to think about who we are, how we can survive, and how we can thrive in the future. Now, it is important to note that our project is an effort by individual scientists worldwide to update the golden record. If NASA approves a new interstellar probe mission in the future, we hope to include our message, similar to Carl Sagan's effort with the Voyager mission. However, we are also open to collaborating with space agencies other than NASA. With those purposes in mind, what do we want to say about ourselves? Humanity's message to the stars include key elements that reflect our world. Scientific knowledge, cultural artifacts, expressions of human emotions, and depictions of life on Earth. We aim to provide a complete picture of humanity and our planet to capture the full range of our existence. From the beauty of a sunrise to the complexity of a mathematical equation, from the joy of a child's laughter to the sorrow of loss. We want to share our story in its entirety. This project is also a chance for us to reflect deeply on what it means to be human. What stories do we want to tell? What values and hopes do we want to convey? We are the only known civilization in the cosmos, at least for now. How can we ensure our survival? How can we reach for the stars without repeating the mistakes of our past? Perhaps we are alone in the universe. Or perhaps there are other civilizations in the galaxy that struggled with challenges like us and survived or did not survive. What can we learn from this? As we look to the future, our search for extraterrestrial intelligence continues. Humanity's message to the stars is a message to potential alien civilizations, but it is also a message to ourselves. At one time, humanity believed that the Earth was the center of the universe. With the sun and the rest of the stars wheeling around us, we still tend to have a fixed idea of ourselves firmly on this planet. Looking up at the sun, moon, and stars as if there can be any up or down in space as it expands in all directions around us. The truth is we are pushing through space in a solar system that's pushing through space on one of the spiral arms of a vast galaxy that's pushing through space. <laughs> Even as other planets in trillions of other galaxies go pushing through space on their own celestial paths. We 
are carried across these distances, riding on the only home we have ever known. Sending a message out is more than just a call to the stars. It's a testament of our shared journey as human beings. It holds the artifacts of our imaginations and ambitions, the imprint of who we have been. Who we will be is an open question. Whether we will still be many years from now awaiting a reply or opening this time capsule to gaze back into the past is anyone's guess. As we launch our message into space to be heard by others unknown or unearthed in 10 centuries time, let it remind us of our responsibility to each other and to our planet here and now, as we continue seek beyond ourselves, exploring the cosmos to understand our place in it. Thank you. Thank you.